It's an exciting time for Australia's two pandas, Wong Wong and Funi. They've only got three days a year when Funi can get pregnant, and keepers at Adelaide Zoo are hoping that this year they'll manage to make some panda babies. Earlier I spoke to Amelia, who was down at the zoo. Thanks, Sarah. Yes, it's a really exciting day down here at the Adelaide Zoo. It's home to the only two pandas in the whole of the Southern Hemisphere. And it's a special time because there's a very brief period for the two pandas to get together and breed. So I'm here with one of the keepers who's going to tell us a little bit more about it. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Very well, thank you. And you? Good, thanks. An exciting day here at the zoo. Can you tell me a bit more about the whole breeding process? Yeah, absolutely. So we've been monitoring Funi's behaviour very closely um, and this morning um, we were able to see that she's ready so we were able to put Wong Wong and Funi together. Um, we do that about five to ten minutes at a time and we'll probably do that about another three or four times today. Great. And what about, um, well, can you tell me why it's actually so important for Wong Wong and Funi to get together and to have a little panda? Absolutely. So uh, giant pandas are actually critically endangered. They're the only species of critically endangered bear. Um, so if they have any cubs, it's actually going to really help to saving the species. Oh, that's very important then. Can you tell me about the whole process that's uh, gotten you to this really special day? How do you know that they're ready to breed? Yeah, uh, a lot of behavioural changes. So um, Funi and Wong Wong have been vocalising to each other, scent marking their territories and Funi's been playing in water. There you go. Well, let's hope that they're ready to have a little Wong Wong or Funi and uh, that it'll be such an exciting time. If not though, they'll try again next year.